What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more ranked competitive double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing off an absolute banger of a team that features Yvelta, Weakness Policy Metagross, and Life Orb Landers. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, consider subscribing. One, it goes a long way. It supports me as a content creator. And two, we got some awesome new content coming to the channel. We got Legends Arceus coming out, and we have Series 12 for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Cannot wait to bring you guys that content, so make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can keep up with all the content coming towards the channel. But before we get into today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Clover Bells for leaving this team for me. Clover Bells, you're amazing. Thank you so much for all the teams you sent me. Huge shout out to you. Link to his channel will be down in the description below, so definitely go check him out. Leave him a follow over there. But let's get started here. Top left corner, we have Yvelta, the one and only Yvelta. Haven't used this restricted mod in a good bit, so I'm actually very happy to use him yet again. We got Dark Aurora as its ability, Assault Vest for its item, and then the moveset of Oblivion Wing, Foul Play, Snarl for special attack drops and sucker punch for stab and first turn priority right next to him is going to be one of the best speed control pokemon in this whole game regilecki transistor magnet thunderbolt eweb volt switch protect fairly normal moveset ability and item for this guy cannot go wrong with it as a whole Middle left is going to be Metagross, top tier physical attacker, especially with that weakness policy. We got clear body, so, you know, intimidates or any other stat changes cannot really affect them. Weakness policy as item, and then we got Iron Head, stopping tantrum, ice punch for coverage, and protect for this thing's moveset. Spectre is right next to him, who is such a good support mod. Really, really good, especially paired up with Metagross right here. We got Grim Nay, we got Focus Ash, so we can't be one tap. We got Shadow Ball for stab. Bulldoze to actually proc our Metagross's weakness policy, Snarl to drop special attack, and Will-O-Wisp to put burns on physical attackers. Love this Pokemon so much, really good at controlling the battle and just making our Metagross top tier with that weakness policy proc. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Landers, a top tier life orb mod. It's just super, super good all around. It has Intimidate as an ability and then an amazing moveset of EQ, Fly, Rock Slide, and Protect. Cannot go wrong with this Pokemon. Really, really good in that Dynamax form. Final Pokemon is going to be our last little support mod, Incineroar. But like, what, what do you guys want me to say about instead of where he is just too good? He is just too good not to use. We got him with Intimidate, Safety Goggles, and then a normal move set of Flare Blitz, Fake Out, Parting Shot, and Throat Chop. Seriously, cannot go wrong with this guy. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Givelta, Weakness Policy, Metagross, and Life Orb Landers team. Let's try to start off today's video with a W. We're hopping into our first battle, going up against a Xerneas team, a pretty cool Xerneas team. It has Scrafty on it, so I'm digging it a lot. I'm digging it a lot. He has Entei, Araquanid, Xerneas, Indeedee, Scrafty, and Kartana. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I kind of like the Metagross here. He has Xerneas. I really do not want him to set up Xerneas. I could go Metagross alongside with Spectre. Could be really good. We can bulldoze all around, get some speed control with that. And it could work out really, really well. So I'm kind of with that. Just an easy, simple lead there. Really, Incineroar wouldn't work too good here if he does go in DD because, you know, the Psychic Surge could block out my Fake Out. So I just think the Spectre and Metagross combo is really, really good. We're going to bring Assault Vest, uh, Yvelta in the back. And then last but not least, I think Landers just works well with that Intimidate. That or Regilecki. I'm really liking Landers just a bit more here. Hmm. Is that our play? He does have Cortana, who I do think is probably going to come in at back end. He might lead the... Uh, he might leave this Crafty for a fake out, but that's totally fine because Spectre is not affected by it, and Metagross will probably just Dynamax him at that point, and fake out will not even affect him. So that's really, really good. I'm digging that. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. But guys, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. What two restricted Pokemon are you going to be pairing up for Series 12? Considering there's so many different combos you can go with in this new meta, it's going to be pretty cool. Let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. For me, I think Groudon and Kyogre is going to be really cool. I think uh, both Ice Rider and Shadow Rider Kyogre is going to be a cool combo, but... Personally, I want to know you guys' answers. I want to know you guys' answers. So leave me in that comment section down below. He leads Inner Focus Entei alongside with uh, Scrafty here. So I could, you know, just bulldoze and get after it that way. Right? That, that, that could be a play. He does have two Pokemon that are super effective up against me, which is kind of scary. You know what? I could just Will-O-Wisp and burn the Scrafty and protect this turn. If I really want to, could definitely be a play. And just protect Metagross. I'm with that all day, actually. I'm honestly with that. Let's see what what, what move this guy's going to actually make. He might just Dynamax or Close Combat and like Sacred Fire into my uh, Metagross. So by protecting and just wasting a turn, I can get off a burn and then Dynamax the next turn and roll out from there. So we'll see how this one plays out. And say he makes a great move and kind of ends up uh, doing some big damage to Metagross, then what's it called? Then we'll just end up uh, Dynamaxing our Landers. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing, I think, Entei here, right? And going for a Flare. If I had to guess, right? He'd be going for a Flare. So, we don't even have to proc our policy. We don't even have to. Which is really, really good. We don't have to proc our policy. 
We do not. I could swap in the Regilecki after this. Whatever I want to do. But he's going to go for a flare. We know that. And through the protect, it's going to proc her policy. And just do a little bit of damage here. So let's see this dude's play. Will-O-Wisp is going to fly through here. And it does connect. That's wonderful. That is a beautiful burn. So nice little burn right here. Right off the rip. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Big old burn on Scrafty. Scrafty's or This thing's just going to go straight for a Max Quake. Which I would rather go for a Max Quake instead of a flare. Because, you know. Hey, he's getting a special defense boost. But it's not stab. It's not stab, and now he doesn't have weather control. So weakness policy is going to be proc. He has special defense boost. We are physical attacking, so I might just Dynamax him. I might just Dynamax him here. This was a really good turn. And now what's Scrafty going for? Scrafty is just going to go for a throw chop, which we do a focus dash. So that's really good for us. And we soak up all day because he is burned. He is burned. Yo, the lovely burn coming out turn one. Now I could Dynamax better go since we are weakness policy. And just bulldoze all around. Which is probably going to be my play. I'm just going to get after this Entei. Give me no reason not to. Let's do it. Let's Dynamax now. So first turn worked out really well for us. Gotta love it. Gotta love the Gene's turn there. Such a solid, such a solid play for me there. Figured that he might Dynamax and see my uh, Metagross as a threat. So I was just like, yo, let me protect him. Let him proc policy and throw a burn on a physical attacker. So turn one working real well for us. Now let's Dynamax this Metagross and see if we can just like get after this battle. But last Sword and Shield video, we brought you guys a little bit of an off meta team. So in today's ones, I want to bring you guys like a decently meta team. A nice a nice team that you guys can use on the Master here and just rock out with. Because all these Pokemon are really, really strong and can be used to push high ranks. Like last game or last team, I used like Gudra and Muzzle. Obviously, there's better Pokemon than that. But this team, it's just like, yo, these Pokemon are the real deal. These guys are the real deal. So Metagross gets the Dynamax for us. Bulldoze should come out here first, which is lovely. Bulldoze pokes out here. Yo, -y. Nice little... B drop for them. Getting after it. Yes, sir. Run it all day. Speed dropping. Speed is dropping. And since we have clear body, it does not drop my Metagrosses. And now we outspeed that Ante, which is just lovely. Max Quake's going to fly through here. It's not sad, but, you know, weakness policy. Oh, my God. Does not take him out. I thought that was going to take him out instantly. I really did think it was going to take him out instantly. That's rough news. But it is what it is. Let's see what he goes through here. He's going to end up eating a berry. And what do we do from here? What do we do from here? He could guard next turn. Really depends. He's just going to go straight for a flare. And who's that going after? He's going after my Metagross, which Metagross should be able to soak, right? Yeah, all day. Easy eats for my Metagross. And is that thing going into another throw chop? I do wonder. I do wonder. Sunlight is out and about. And he's just going to go straight for an Ice Punch into my Metagross. Yeah, that's easy. Don't waste a turn like that. Why are you wasting turns like that? So I could guard here. I could definitely guard, which I might do. I might guard and swap. And just save you for the back end. I might guard and just swap into like Yvelta. Because in this case, I could just, you know. I mean, he might be going for a Quake. What do I want to do? Now, I'd rather save my Intimidate. I'm going to go into Yvelta here and guard and waste his last turn. Or do I just take him out? What is my play here? What is my play? Actually, let's just stay in here. Let's just stay in here. Let's just go for a Shadow Ball here into you, and, you know, we'll just, uh, we'll end up just getting this, uh, special. Actually, we'll get a defensive boost here. Even though it's not very effective, it should still be able to kill him, and I'd rather get a defensive boost instead of a special defense boost. So he ends up Max Garden. I was actually kind of thinking that was going to happen, but it's all good. He Max Guards. He's going to waste out another turn, and that's why I was going to swap. I was going to swap and Max Guard myself and have the Spectre in the back end, but we do get a nice little drop. Special defense drop comes out here. Still Spike. He's going to get blocked. So he could swap, but I do think he stays in here. He's just going to go for another throw chop, which my boy eats up all day, yo. Spectre is just soaking up shots. So that's a little bit. I want to get, like, one more turn out of Spectre. But it's kind of tough to actually do that. Unless, like, a Shadow Ball. Can a Shadow Ball KO that thing? Shadow Ball should be able to, right? So why don't we go for Shadow Ball here? Finish you off. And then what do we go from here? Defensive boost or weather control? I mean, who does he have in the back end? No other fire Pokemon. Yeah, I'd rather not have Buffets flying around. Rather not have that. Especially because that can do my Spectre pretty dirty. So, we're just going to go into a... Uh, let me see what Pokemon he has. He has a lot of special attackers. He probably has Xerneas in the back. So I might want to get the special defense boost. So I play. Yeah, we'll go We'll go into a Max Quake here. Either move is going to take out this... This, uh, this Scrafty, no problem. The Shadow Ball is going to fly. Should be able to take out Entei. We should be able to get it off another turn, which is lovely. Which is lovely. Get that thing on out my face. Finally, we get rid of that thing. I think we should have killed it when we were Dynamax, but it's all good. Grimnade's going to give us a boost, and we should be faster than most Pokemon here. 
which is great. And I can bulldoze and take speed control. We, depending on who he wants to go into, that could be the play. But Max Waste can come out here and we pick up another KO. So solid first couple turns for us. Dynamax turns are over. It comes down to a 4v2, but both my Pokemon are really, really light. They're really, really light. Spectre has one tap. Metagross is pretty much one tap because his Dynamax is over. It's going to half his health down. I think he's down like 60 something. High 60s, mid 60s. Something around there where he's just able to be one tap. He's going to showcase his last two Pokemon. It's going to be Indeedee and Xerneas, right? Indeedee and Zern. It is going to be Indeedee and Zern. And the real question here is, I have one question and one question only. Can we bulldoze and keep my Metagross alive? I might just protect my Metagross here. I do want to bulldoze. I don't think that's going to kill my Metagross. I do not think that's going to kill my Metagross. And we're just going to go for his Iron Head here. Let's see how this one plays out. Because Spectre is obviously the fastest. I could have just started Snarling. That probably should have been my play. He's going to fake out Ready to Roll. That's just going to fake out my Metagross. You Buttery Biscuit. Boulder's going to fly through here. And we're going to start slowing down some Pokemon. I could start Snarling. And yeah, it, it doesn't really do any damage to my Metagross. So Speed's going to get dropped. And I think this thing is going to set up a Geomance. Which is kind of scary. I'm not even going to lie. Right, yeah, Geomet's gonna come out here. That is awful. That is awful. So I could go for another bulldoze just to take speed control. Or I could snarl. What, what's my play here? It's tough news. It's tough news here. This thing's an absolute beast. We gotta slow it down again, right? We have to slow it down again. I wonder if what's called is faster. If Spectre is faster. I don't think it is, because that thing is plus one on speed. You know what? I could bulldoze again. Which I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm just going to protect Metagross and Bulldoze. Right, we need speed control here. We need speed control if we want to win this battle. Because I wouldn't be surprised if Geomance Xerneas comes into back end and just cleans up my team, you know? Super strong Pokemon, definitely a huge threat. So let's see what you got, deer. Let's see what you got, little deer. Dude, the deer is such a threat. I love it, though. I love Xerneas. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. Definitely a cooler looking legendary than most. It's got the rainbow antlers. Like, come on, man. Can't go wrong with that thing. Cannot go wrong with it. He's going to end up protecting Xerneas. I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. And I think he comes after my uh, Metagross here. Right? You got to come here. That's got to be your turn. We're going to start. We're going to slow down the Indeedee a little bit. Locks are coming out. And maybe we can get off another turn with uh, Spectre. I would love that. I would love that. Well, those coming out here. Slow down. Slowing down these guys. I'm not worried about the Indeedee. I'm worried about this... Uh, this thing right here. He's going to drop a Psychic. And that is going into Spectre. So we reach the Protect. Great little read by him. And Spectre drops out. Okay. Um, Who do I bring out? Could bring out Lando. Lando's not too bad here. Our Sunlight does fade off. And, hmm. I play here. I could Sucker Punch. Oh, I could Sucker Punch. But I might just save that Sucker Punch. Let's check this thing somewhere. Let's check the speeds here. Let's check the speeds here. 154. 151. So we have rather fast Pokemon. We do have that Assault Fest. I'm going to go into Yvelta here. Yvelta. Now I could Sucker Punch. What's my play here? I could Sucker Punch and go into Iron Head. Just double down into Zern here. Which might have to be my play. Dark Aurora is out on the field. I could Foul Play. Hmm. I think I do Foul Play you because we know we outspeed you. I should go into an Iron Head here. Just in case he goes into like a follow me or something. We shall see. I think it learns follow. I think Mail and DD learns follow me. I might be wrong, actually. I honestly forget. I haven't played this game too, too much in a while. But let's see. Let's see. I, I only really play when I record. And Mail and DD is something you don't really see too, too often. I'm just going to go straight for a Gleam. Metagross is going to be able to stick that up. Yes, sir. All day. And now Iron Head should be able to come out. It should be faster than in DD all day. Foul play is coming out here. Yo, yo. Big old damage. Bring that thing down to the red. And more importantly, this Iron Head should come out here and finish off Xerneas here, right? Yes, sir. Yo, that's GG's. Get him out of here. Get him out my face. We both outspeed in DD all day. This is great. And he's just going to go for a Mystical Fire and take out who? Who are you taking out? Develop is gone. That's fine. That is fine. We have a lovely little Metagross here. That's going to be GG's. What a first battle. This was honestly a long, drawn-out battle. And you guys know I love battles like this. I love a good, long, drawn-out battle. And that's exactly what we got for you guys here. And more importantly, we grabbed ourselves a win. Easy win for your boy. Lander's going to come out here for a final mod. Drop, drop a nice, lovely Intimidate. That's going to do nothing on the special attacker. And then we're just going to outspeed. Drop a EQ? Yeah, we're going to <laughs> drop an EQ and an Iron Head. I don't care if I take out my Meteor. She probably cancels the battle anyway, right? Let's see. Cancel the battle. Get on out my lobby. Get on out of here. We don't want you here with your croissant ears. Oh, I do want a croissant now. Croissants are delicious, man. 
can't go wrong with those battle was canceled there it is 1-0 to get this video started the Yavelta and Xerneas battle continues. We're hopping into our second one, going up against another Xerneas team looking to go back to back. He has Grimmsnarl, Dragapult, Hitmontop for Intimidates and Fake Outs, Galarian Moltres, and Rotom Heat. How should we play this one? How should we go into this? I think he might lead Fake Out. And honestly, the Metagross and Spectre combo works really, really well up against a lot of these Pokemon here. So I might just lead it again and get after the battle this way. Or I could go in with Incineroar and try to do something a little bit different, but. Like I said, the, the Spectre and Metagross combo is just working really well. So I'm going to go in with that yet again. Bring Incineroar in the back? No, maybe not. I, I definitely want Yabelta. Yabelta is just too cool not to bring. I love this Pokemon so much. Plus, we have Sucker Punch that works well onto that Dragapult. Um, final Pokemon, Regilecki, Landers, or Incineroar? Hmm. I mean, he doesn't, he's not really rocking too much with uh, physical attackers. So I might just go in with a Regilecki. Get some Electric, get some Speed Control in there as well. I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So, the Yvelta and Xerneas combo continues. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves another win here. That first battle was really, really good. It was a solid battle. This dude's copying my trainer card to get out my face. This is my trainer card. I remember when I first started, like, doing Sword and Shield content, everyone was just like, yo, geez, you gotta change your trainer card. And I'm just like, no. Like, we're keeping it the same. We are not changing it just because people want me to change it. <laughs> and that's, like, one of the reasons I never change it. He's going to end up leading these two, and I can definitely see a big old Dynamax coming out here. I do have Hailstorm. I do have Hailstorm, which can work really, really well here. Or I could just go straight into a Steel Spike. What do I want to do? Proc Policy. Get after it. I don't know this. He could. Ooh. He's going to switch on me. What's he going to do here? You know what? We're just going to go into a Snarl. I'm just going to protect you. I really don't want him, like, uh tricking my item you know that's definitely something he can do knowing that i'm going to dynamax my metagross and cool he doesn't dynamax as well so this is what you start to see when you're in uh when you're in those higher ranks that uh people doing some crazy stuff and people like playing a bit more defensively but snarls can come out here and do some work then get that special uh, attack drop and who's trying to drop sucker punches who's trying to drop sucker punches? these guys are going into physical moves these guys are going into physical moves so you know what? i'm gonna burn you I might just hard swap into Reggie. Reggie could be a good hard swap. Let's do it. I'm going to burn. I'm going to throw some burns out here. We'll, we'll save the Metagross. Actually, I probably should have Dynamax. That was probably a turn to Dynamax map. Right? That was probably a turn to Dynamax map. But we'll save him. Sucker Punch can come through again. Yes, sir. We rolling out here. Burns are flying, man. We're not playing around today. We're not playing around. Ooh, I'm liking this. I'm liking where we're sitting. I might throw a burn on that. We're gonna start. Foul play's gonna come through here. And light work. Easy eats all day. All day. So we got this thing burn. This thing's using physical attack and moves. Not physical. Is that like a physical bird? <laughs> I mean, I'm not even gonna lie. I could volt switch out. Volt switch can do some big damage. Or I can just stay in here, E-Web, kind of go from there. What do I want to do? Maybe just Thunderbolt? I know we outspeed. I think Thunderbolt's gonna be replied. Just get off as much damage as we can. We might protect, but it's fine. Just for Sucker Punch. We eat up all day. And Reg Lucky outspeeds. Thunderbolt coming in hot. Coming in hot, dude. Does not take out the bird, though. A little upset on that. I am a little upset on that. He's gonna get that Berserk boost. Go back to normal because he is minus one. And Willow Wisp's gonna fly, and we're gonna get this on Grimstar. Okay. I don't like this turn. Reg Lucky's just here. We still have our Metagross. If he takes out Reg Lucky here, give me no problem with Dynamax next turn. I just like he eats. That is so wonderful. That is so wonderful. Special attack's gonna drop. He'll be fine with this. Burn's gonna chip away. We're just gonna e web now. I mean, he could go into Sucker Punch, which he's probably gonna do. He's probably gonna do that. So, you know what? I'm just gonna Shadow Ball. Do I just protect? Actually, I don't mind. I don't mind if Red's like he was saying. That's the thing. I don't mind if Regilecki goes down here. I actually kind of want him to go down here because it's just a perfect time to get in my what's it called. See, he'll eventually just sucker punch me down. Like, there's no way around it. So I'd rather just have, have Regilecki go down now and bring out my Metagross again and get rolling with that. So Shadow Ball's going to poke. His bird is going to drop here. And now we bring back out the Metagross. We can bulldoze, get that speed control, and kind of just go from there. Foul play's going to poke, and that might KO me. No, no, no. He's burned. He's burned. Get him out of here. That ain't, that ain't killing me. Get out my face. You dead. You dead. Burn drops him out here. Yo, the burns are where it's at. Yo. That's why I love Spectre. Great with the will o and great with the Snarls as well. 
Okay, so now, now we just bring out you. Now it's a perfect time. Now it's a perfect time. That, like, like I was saying, in the higher ladders, it's, like, more effective to sometimes not just go straight into your combo. To see what they're going to do. Because sometimes they might just counter your combo instantly and win the match that way. That's why I kind of protect it. I kind of played it slow. Got the Metagross out and just rolled out from there. And that was a great swap because we knew he was going into Sucker Punches. He's going to throw out his third mon, which is going to be Dragon Ball. It's going to be the pull. It's going to be the pull. And that is kind of scary. I could, you know, just go into Shadow Ball. But you know what? I could just burn it. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to protect Metagross. Metagross, I'm protecting you. I can Dynamax you next turn, or I can save my Dynamax for you about them. Whatever I want to do. Whatever I want to do. Because I do have Sucker Punch on that thing. We'll see how this one plays out. I think Dragapult does outspeed Spectre. But I'm seeing if this thing could proc my policy on, on soon. This is a tough battle. This is, this is a good battle. He's got to be Dynamax and Pult you, right? Yeah, Pult's getting the Dynamax. Let's see how this one plays out. We should have probably Dynamax Metagross earlier in the match and have him set up. But it's tough. It's tough. Dragon Pult's so good. Dragon Pult is so good. Here it comes. Dragon Pult with the Dynamax. Can we counteract this? Wish we did have a Reg Lucky. Just a minus one on that thing's speed. I mean, we could hit it with a Bulldoze, but no, it's Clear Body. So Protect coming out from Meta. From the Gross. And hopefully, just hopefully we can get off this Bulldoze. Would we'll love it. Would we'll love it. Is Light Change going to poke out here? Give it to me. Yo. Give me this Willowbus. I think Dragon Pult outspeeds me, right? Oh, we outspeed him. That's lovely. So there's that. And I wonder if he's physical or special. There's no way of telling when he's uh when he's Dynamax, but let's see how much damage this does. This is probably gonna KO me anyway. So it KOs me. He does read the protect, which is pretty pretty good for him. And now I can bring out Yvelta and I can drop sucker punches. I could dynamax. I have to decide who I'm gonna dynamax here though. I have to decide who I'm gonna dynamax here. But burns are flying, yo. We got Yvelta here. If he is, I think we just dynamax the uh the Metagross here. I think Metagross could get a bit more value out of this. I really do think he can. I'm not really too worried about the uh, the Grimmsnarl. He's burned. He's just here to set up screens. But I could drop a lovely Sucker Punch. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to double down into him by uh, going into... Do I Steel Spike? Get a Defense Boost? Because I think... Or do I just Hailstorm and make sure we get the KO? What is my play? I said we make sure we get this KO. Let's make sure we get this KO. Let's double down at this thing. Because Dragapult is the big threat. If we get rid of Dragapult here, we'll be sitting in a clean position to win this battle. Because Grimstraw, we're not worried about him. He's just there. He's going to set up screens. He's going to do whatever he wants to do. And we'll eventually kill him. But the Dragapult is a threat. He's the one who could take out a Pokemon. So we're going to target him down. We're going to try to get rid of him. Dynamax and Metagross yet again. But this time, using him a little bit later. We kind of play this one a little bit slower. Yvelta is going to be able to go for a Sucker Punch, which is lovely. He does not guard. We get off some huge damage, and this Hailstorm should be able to KO. Oh, no. Oh, no! We proc policy. Hopefully, this thing is physical attacking. Sucker Punch going to come out here, and he always oh, hitting up on his. He's doubling down into him. Fantastic coming out here, and who are you KOing? He's going in for Metagross. Eat this up. Oh, yeah. He's definitely burned. He is definitely burned, He's or he's definitely physical attacking. That's lovely. He's going to proc our policy. Yeah. Yeah, you want to play policy game? You want to play weakness policy? We'll play it all day. We'll do it all day, yo. We'll play weakness policy all day long. Get on out my game, dude. Dragon Pult, you're gone. Okay. So, we're sitting here. We're in a solid position here. The only problem with this could be is if he brings out a Pokemon that can outspeed my Metagross and take him out in one shot. But I could always guard. I could always guard, waste a turn. Get my Yvelta to do some damage. We do have an Assault Vest, which is great. They do have a late screen set up, but my Metagross is physical attacking. So it's really only affecting my Yvelta, but not my Sucker Punches. Because, you know, Sucker Punches. Good old physical attacking. Good old fist to the face. But dude, I'm loving these battles. These are some great battles. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. But you're going to throw out Zern. Ooh. Ooh. We do have the Assault Vest, which works great. This works great. And in this case, we're going to an Oblivion Wing. And I might just double down into him. I have to double down into this thing. See what he does here. We have to double down into this thing. He might protect, but I don't know. I do not know. Zern is coming out here versus giant Metagross with weakness policy. And it can't really, these guys can't really do any damage to Metagross. Most journeys is only roll with fairy moves, so I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's see what he's got cooking. Let's see what he's got cooking. He is in a tough spot. 
but we played our dynamax perfectly we kind of waste it waited it out waited towards the end once we got a chance to get in there we slid right in there and did it circuit punch is gonna pop here my boy metagross is soaking up all day and what's Cern going for moon blast yeah yo we eat that up all day yes sir that's ggs that is ggs and oblivion wing does come out here first that's kind of tough but it's all right we get rid of Xerneas, and it's going to turn into a uh, a 2v1. And he's probably just going to cancel it if we take this thing out. But, yo, Yvelta better than Xerneas? I think so. Yo, we're 2-0 up against Xerneas. We're just rolling out. I think Yvelta is a better, uh, a better restricted mod. I really do. I just think it, it has more viability to it. Xerneas is really only good if you can set it up with Geomance. But if you can't, it's really not that good. You know? But once you do get it set up with Geomance, it is unstoppable. It is unstoppable. It outspeeds everything. It hits like a truck. It's just so good. It's just so good. But like I said, Yvelta just has a lot of different versatility towards it. Especially with a soul vest, it's very, very bulky. But there it is. That's going to be 2 0. Oh, two great battles to get this video started. Hopefully, we can have a clean third battle, kind of like a quicker one, because I kind of just want to use a different Pokemon in Dynamax and roll off from there. But we're just going to Seal Spike. We're going to Oblivion Wing, and I see this guy just cancel the battle. Well, yeah, we are rocking out in the Master Tier. He does not cancel battle. He goes for the Sucker Punch. He's trying to stay in here and win this battle. He's trying to stay in here and win this battle. Yo, get this dude out my face. Get this dude out my face. I'm trying to stay here and clutch up with a burn Grimmsnarl. Trying to clutch up with burn Grimmsnarl. Oblivion Wing, probably not going to KO it, but do enough damage where another one can. Yeah. So we bring it down the red. Get out my face, dude. That's just thing like one taps me. <laughs> Has some crazy move. Uses like metronome and uses like the perfect move to KO me. Uses metronome, gets gu uh, guillotine or sheer cold and takes me out in one hit. Dude, could you imagine? That would honestly, I would honestly, I would start laughing. That would be hilarious. Battle was canceled. There it is. 2 0. Let's hop to that third and grab ourselves that perfect record. The problem with being top 2000 in the Master Tier is you were going to see a lot of meta Pokemon. Just like here. We got a nice little strong meta team. Considering I'm using a meta team too, I don't mind it. I do not mind it. He's got Incineroar. He's got Amoogus. Milotic. Competitive Milotic, I should say. So I should watch out for that. Clear Body Metagross. Zapdos, who, if I had to guess, is holding Life Orb. Metagross probably has weakness policy, just like ours. And then last but not least, his Restricted Mom, which is Groudon. Which is Groudon. But it's kind of weird. He doesn't really have anything to pair up with the Groudon. So I wonder what he's kind of working with. I wonder what he's doing. We could go into Spectre right here. Spectre is just a great lead. I do not want to Dynamax Metagross again. We already did it multiple times. So we're not going to do that. I could lead Lando. Lando wouldn't be bad here because I feel like Zapdos or maybe Metagross might come out there for the lead. But Incineroar could also come out there for the lead. Same thing with Milotic. So I'm going to lead Regilecki here. And I do not want to lead Lannis just because it's Intimidate. And we're not trying to deal with that. I think we're going to go Yvelta. Two special attackers. Intimidate won't affect us. And we can kind of get after the battle that way. We will bring Lannis in the back end. And then last but not least, who do I go with? I want Incineroar, but I really do not want to double up on Intimidate. It just could be bad. I might just go with my own Metagross. Where do I go Spectre for just like burns and all that good stuff yeah let's go spectre i just feel like having spectre in this back end i should lead spectre but i do like my lead i do like my lead i could definitely see the milotic poking out here turn one considering we do have two intimidate mods and then if we can get the milotic poking out here we have a red like right on the field ready to rock out ready to do some big things so let's see what he does let's see how this one plays out show me milo show me milo but we already grabbed ourselves a winning record so i don't care if we lose this one we're here to have fun here to bring you guys some good content. He goes instant towards Zapdos. Mm, Zapdos is oh, Zapdos is a powerhouse, man. He's a powerhouse. Uh, maybe swap, swap into Lando here. Predict a, uh, predict an electric move coming in hot, right? Could take speed control too. Could take speed control. I could volt switch, but I don't really think it's play. Could protect Regilecki, but you know, I'm just gonna go into E-Web and I'm gonna hard swap my Yvelta into my Lanners. A to get intimidate, and B, I do believe he's coming in with a with a max landing into my Yvelta slot. So we're gonna try to waste out a Dynamax turn from here. And then potentially just Dynamax go get after it that way. I'm with it. I'm with it. Because he probably thinks we're rocking out with Max Rock Ball. And are we? I think we are. I forget this thing's moveset. It's EQ, fly, and yeah, I think Rock Slide, so that could be really good for us. So let's swap the Belta. And we're gonna go straight into Lando. Landy Landy. Landy coming out here. Is he Dynamaxing? Show me he's Dynamaxing. Intimidate's gonna come out here. Great little intimidate. We get our intimidate out while Milo takes out on the field, which is awesome. And he's gotta be Dynamax, right? Yep. Show me the max lightning. We got our fingers crossed. Sometimes it makes some good reads. You guys know it. 
I always love making great reads. Like, they're, it's such a good feeling, man. It's like, dude, I just outplayed you. I just outplayed you. It's just like one of the best feelings ever. He goes in his Zapdos. Show me that Max Lightning. Give me my good read right off the rip. Max Lightning. Show me Max Lightning. Do, 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 do. Show it to me, baby. E Web popping out here. He is not going for a fake out. He's probably parting shotting. E Web's going to give us some, a little bit of speed control here, which is great. And show it to me. Give me the Lightning. Give me the Lightning. Airstream in the Reggie. In the Lando. Oh, 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 oh my God, dude. This thing's so good. Wow, we could have, we should have just stayed in with, uh, with our boy there. Wow, rough turn for us. Rough turn for us. And what's he going for? Maybe a parting shot? That's a real rough turn for us. That is a real rough turn for us. At least he's going to snarl. Mmm. 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 This is tough. This is real tough for us. So I was going to uh, give him a special attack drop. And do we... We have to die to Maxi Belt here, right? This is so tough, dude. We really lost our Lando there. Ah! I don't like it. Uh, guess we're going here. Guess we will Dynamax. We do have an Assault Vest, which could be nice. Could just E Web. I mean, we don't have to. Actually, we should E Web again because he is back to normal. So we'll go for the E Web. He might party shot on me, but we have to Dynamax again after this one. That's so tough that we lost Orlando trying to make a good read. We go into Darkness, get that special defense drop, which I kind of like. I'm with it. Let's target you down. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, baby. Dude, Zapdos is so good. Zapdos is top tier in this format. He's just so good. Yo, you Dynamax him with a Life Orb. He has great stats. Great move pool. You can learn a Fire move as well. You can learn Heat Wave. So if you want to change up weather, just super, super good. But we have to Dynamax your belt here. It's our last effort here. Rough news. But hey, we're grabbing ourselves some winning records. I'm, I'm content with this video today. I'm content. 446 HP. We're bulking. We're bulking. E Web's going to fly out here. We do have a Soul Vest as well. Skyros are minus one on physical attack. And they are minus one on speed. As you know, Airstream kind of counteracted our first E-Web. And now Max Dark just going to fly through. How much damage are we going to do? We're not going to be able to KO. This thing's not that heavy hitting, but it does a decent amount. Next one, we'll be able to easily pick up the KO. It is special defense drop now. And I might just Thunderbolt into that. Because I think Thunderbolt should be able to pick up the KO. He did snarl us, which is kind of tough. If he's doing that again, that could be tough. There's the Lightning. Dude, why didn't he do this turn one? Why didn't he do that turn one? Assault Vest soaks up all day. But are you kidding? That's what should have happened turn one. 1,000%. Now, is this thing snarling again? I can definitely see it happen. Please don't do it. Don't do it to me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> he snarls. Um, Regilecki should. I think Regilecki should be able to. Hmm. Do I double down in the Zapdos just in case here? But I'm thinking Regilecki can, can pick up KO here. It's in electric. He has minus one on special defense. You know what? We're just going to do that. And I'm just going to airstream. That's going to be my play. Come on, Reggie. Give me a big KO with this Thunderbolt. Give me a big KO. I need you here. I need you. I know he's minus two. I understand that. But they're minus one on special defense. This is stab. Electric terrain is out. So it's going to get a boost. I think Reggie, Reggie has it. Plus with the magnet. Can you do it? Do him dirty. Let's go, Reggie. Let's go, Reggie. Bringing us in this game. We're chilling. We're thriving. We're thriving here. Oblivion Wing coming out here. We're not Oblivion. Max Airstream. And can this pick up a KO? You are minus one on special defense. Give me the KO. God dang it, you're though. You're bulky, but dude, you can't hit hard. But granted, again, we're minus one on special defense. Speed coming out here. I could swap. I could do a nice little swap here. Get get some stats back. But he's just going to snarl again. He is just going to snarl again. God dang it, snarl, dude. Snarl control is so good. Hmm, what's my play? What is my play? I don't like this one bit. Good job, special. I think I have to start dropping special defense here, right? Oh, the snarls, man. The snarls. Dude, if we saw Landers, like, why didn't he go into Max Lightning turn one? That was a great play by him not to do it. It's just tough. He's going to go into you. He's ready to go for ground moves. He's ready to do it. I could protect Regilecki. He goes into a drought. Um, I want to swap. I want to swap Reggie. I want to save Reggie. I want to bring you in here. And I want to go into... Do I go into a darkness? We already have speed. I think we just need these drops here. I think we just need these special defense drops. Cinnamor's just here being annoying. Doing his thing. <laughs> being a pain. But we have to swap Reggie just to get our stat back. And he swaps in Cinnamor at this point. And who's he going to go into? Amoogus is going to be his final mod. Okay. Okay, I'm actually fine with that. Groudon's going to protect. 
Glaraldon's gonna protect, and I can just go into an Oblivion and get back a ton of HP because I do have speed. I do have speed here, right? We did use a. Uh, did we use an airstream? Yeah, we used one airstream, so we are plus one on speed. So we have speed all day. I can go to an Oblivion Wing. We are minus two, which is tough, but I should be able to get up back a decent amount of HP here, which is great. Or I could hard swap. Or I could hard swap. I'm going to throw a burn onto you. I'm just going to Willow Wisp onto you. And I'm just going to go for Oblivion Wing. Do not go for that Rage Battle. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Let me get this burn off and let me win this battle. This could be a good win. This could be a good win. But, dude, we lost our lander so early, man. And it was just tough because the next turn, he did use the max lightning on Yvelta. So, like, we had the right idea. We had the right idea. It's just he just ended, decided to go for an airstream for speed control there. He's going to withdraw Groudon. Go back into Incineroar. Okay. All right. I'm cool with that. I don't really see the swap there. I don't see the reason for that. Maybe to get Fake Out back on the field? But I had to guess he's, he's trying to get Fake Out back on the field. And what's Amoongus going for? Amoongus is not protecting. He's probably going for a Spore here. We're going to Oblivion Wing. We are going to get off some damage here. We're minus two. But still, that's some nice damage. We'll get some nice HP back. And I think we might swap here. He can only fake out my Yvelta. Unless he's putting him to sleep. But there's some HP back. Battle's going the distance. It's going the distance. Puff coming out here. Oh, yo. Oh, no. He's not healing. He's just doing damage on me. I thought he was healing there. Like, yo, I'm with that turn all day. So if he has fake out, ready to rock. I think I just go into like a nice little Shadow Ball. Or I could Bulldoze. I couldn't need Bulldoze. Shadow Ball's not very effective. Uh, it's just Bulldoze. Slow down these guys, and... I mean, if we can go into an Oblivion Wing, right? Into Incineroar. You could start Palm Puffing him up, or I could swap you now. But I don't think swaps a turn. I think he fakes out. Because if I swap him, my Regilecki, he would definitely die. He protects Amoogus. And what's he rolling out with from here? With Incineroar. Party Shot, maybe? Like, Regilecki can't do anything up against the, uh, what's it called? Up against the Groudon. So, if we're going to use Regilecki, we might want to get him in here as soon as possible. We're going to use Bulldoze, and I might swap the Spectre for that, where I might swap... Yvelta would be the better swap. Because Snarls have been coming out here, left and right. Snarl comes out here. This is tough. If this thing constantly snarling, I cannot bring out Regilecki, because it'll die in one shot. I have to get to the point where I can take out, uh, Incineroar in one shot. You know? The Oblivion Wing is going to have to come out here. We're going to have to heal up. Yo, we got some good battles for you guys. These, this, is, this is one of my longer videos. These three battles have all been long. But yo, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. We're going to go for another Bulldoze. I think, I think Bulldoze does the most damage, right? I had to guess. I could double down into you. I might want to make it my play. But at this point, I just think he starts Pollen Puffing this thing. This is going to be a long battle. This one might go the whole distance. We have Pokemon that can't KO. I mean, unless he starts Sporn or like bringing out Groudon. Like, we, he does have the upper hand, in my opinion. Make a move, dude. Let's see what you're cooking with. Let's see what you're cooking with. Let's see what you're cooking with. Living Wing poking. Oh, yeah. Send it. Not bad damage. Hopefully, we get a crit or something. Next one. We get our HP back. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. And then Boulder's going to be able to fly through here again. So, we're taking more speed control. The Palm Puff will be annoying, but we're starting to slowly chip away onto the Samurai Which is really good. So if I had to guess, he's either going to Spore, or he's going to Palm Puff you, right? Why about flying through here? Should be able to soak it up, Spec. Spectre, no! Okay, that's fine. Unless he's... Is he Spore? What's he doing here? This is really the game right here. Oh my god, that's awesome! Let's go. Let's go, that's huge. Flare Blitz damage takes him out. Spores come... Mm. That is not good. That is not good. That is not good one bit. We don't like that. Okay. Oh, dude, I think we lost this one. I think we definitely lost this one because we cannot... Unless we start getting crits. Unless crits start coming out here. That's the only way we win this. Red's like he's poking here. I could protect him and try to get him to wake up. That's our, that's our last That's our last hope here. Protect Red's lucky. Yeah, we got to protect him here. Thunderbolt's are not even very effective, so we got to do that. We do have Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch might be our best turn, you know? So all these are, uh... Sucker Punch or Foul Play? We are snarled up. I think that's our best bet, going into Foul Plays. But we're trying to get this Yvelta to wake up. We need Yvelta to wake up. So we'll protect. We'll kind of, like, waste some turns out. And Yvelta slumped. Slumped. Groudon going for Rock Slide. Ooh, Rock Slide's tough. That's tough, tough. That's real tough. 
Develth is able to soak up. That thing's a beast. That thing's a beast. Now, is this thing spawning? He's palm puffing. We block it. Okay. All right. So, Harsh Sunlight finally fades off. We have to wake up here. If we want to win this battle, we have to wake up here. We have to wake up here. Black Sludge giving this thing HP. And we're just going to go into lovely little Thunderbolt here. And we're going to go into this foul play. Last chance here. Last chance for Jeans here. Wake up. Protect comes out from Amoongus. Nice little protect. And what's this thing going for? I think he's just protecting to protect. You've got this slump. And that's GG's. Unless he's missing these slides. Thunderbolt's going to get blocked. Miss a rock slide, dude. Miss a rock slide. Rock slide comes in. Who's it missing? Who's it missing? Yvelta dodges it. Regilecki. -like. No. No. That's over with. It is GG's now. He can legit just palm puff on ground on whenever I do damage to it. But it is over. Unless... Unless he m starts missing on the Groudon and we can like two tap it. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. <laughs> but Yvelta is fast on the field. Foul play poking out here. And he's still asleep, dude. Come on, yo. Three turns sleep doing me dirty. Rockside's going to connect. That's GG's 2 and 1 for today's video. Great battles all around. Gotta love it. Got to love it. All three of these battles were so long. This might have been my longest Pokemon Sword and Shield video I have ever recorded on the channel, which is pretty cool. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. All three of them were good battles. More importantly, we grabbed ourselves a winning record today. One last huge shout out to my boy Clover Bells for leading this team for me. I absolutely love it. Super, super strong all around. The Yvelta, Metagross, and Landers just work so well together and can really just get some work done. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.